Hi guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet. Welcome back to the channel and Merry Christmas to everybody and Happy New Year. And my furry feline Raven is eating um, her medicine right now. Yay. And I picked up a treat for her today that I put her medicine in because every once in a while I give her these and she loves them. So today's video is a very, very tiny Dollar General haul. Nothing yarn related, but I did get some Christmas stuff related. And I do have some yarn I want to talk to you guys about. And show you the couple of things that I've been working on. And I have a whole bunch of getting to know me questions. So this is going to be <clears throat> a video of a lot of stuff, but each portion of things is tiny. So I'm, I'm able to fit all of this in one video. So first things first, Dollar General haul. I got some stocking stuffers for Raven. Always need a scratching post, and they had some designs. They had like a whole bunch of different designs. This one happens to be avocados. I love my avocados. I eat these religiously. Oh my goodness. Gotta have my avocado. So I saw this one. I'm like, yeah, this is Raven's new cat scratcher. I probably change this out every, I would say six to eight weeks I change these out. Maybe longer than that sometimes. Depends on how rough it looks. You know, how often she uses it, because sometimes she uses the, um, the uh, jute twine post that's on her cat tree. She uses that too. Um, these are the treats I got for her. And that's what she's eating right now. Um, it is, it comes with four, four little, um, squeeze tubes. And it is thick, tasty with tuna. It's delectable squeeze up tubes. My cat loves these. And they do come in different flavors if you go to the pet store. I just got these at Dollar General. But if you go to the pet store, your local pet store, they'll have more flavors. And you can feed it by hand into a bowl or as a topping. And I kind of partially used it as a topping. I did mix some of her dry food in with this. So she would have a little bit more of a meal. Um, and then I put, I mixed in her, her wet medicine with it. Um... I went, I went for these treats, really. She loves these. They're soft. She gets crunchy food every single day, so it's nice to give her a soft treat. And then I, I have, like, the tuna. And I get, I get real cans of tuna from the meat, the canned meat aisle in the grocery store. I give her real tuna that I would eat, but I make sure I buy it with water, not oil, because that's not good for them, but tuna in water. I don't drain it or anything. All I do is I split it in half. I mix her in her medicine. I save the other half for the next two days because I give her her medicine every other day. So it'll be okay in the fridge for a few days, obviously. Uh, and I found treats for me. <laughs> they only had one bag. I could not find any more. These are fruit gummies in the shape of their respective fruit. Blackberry. There's a pineapple. And there's an orange. What's well, a picture of an orange? There is... That's a strawberry. Um, it's not very much sugar at all. It's only 13 grams of sugar for um, one quarter size of this package, which would be maybe three or four pieces. These are actually really good. I find these at Crest. They pre bag these in a plastic Ziploc bag, and they have a, a Crest barcode label telling you what the item is and how much it is because they um, they charge by the by the weight. These are really, really good. A lot of times you can find these pre-packaged in local grocery stores. Maybe if you're familiar with this brand, maybe you'll be able to find them. But 3D Gummy Fruits. Every time I see these, I get them. Because they are, they, they're they made with real fruit. Very low sugar. There's no sodium whatsoever. And it's only 100 calories for this entire package. And I can eat this package in like three days for me. I maybe have like 10 gummies. Sometimes per night, most of the gummies that I eat are my vitamins. I have vitamin C, I've got power zinc, I've got vitamin D3, I've got one for hair, skin, and nails. Every once in a while, I get like an azo in the gummy form because that's how I like to take my, my vitamins. I hate swallowing pills. I swallow when I need to, but you know, when it comes to vitamins, I just, I love my gummies. Okay, so I found this little dinosaur. Look at this. This is so cute. It was only, he was only five bucks. His name is Winkies. Winkies, I guess. I got him for my sister Sophia. She's having a boy. 
in the late sp in the early spring, I believe. I need to get her due date um, so I can be more accurate with that. She's literally, I'd say she's at six months now, or five, five, five and a half weeks. Five and a half months. Five and a half months. Excuse me. So however many weeks that is, I never go by weeks. I just, I always go by months. She's been. She is almost done with her second trimester. I know that. I just I need to get a due date. But I'm gonna make a lovey to go with this since I got that blue puzzle baby yarn. Look at his little tail. He's so cute. And this has a little fun fact in it for kids. Prehistoric collection. Winkies. Here's winking at you. And wick. And then there's Winkopedia inside. Did you know the largest T-Rex tooth found is 12 inches long, which is 30 centimeters? That's, that's tooth, man. So I got that for Sophia's little boy she's expecting. And I, just a couple little things for, for wrapping Christmas presents. Um, I like using this party streamer. They come two in a pack at Dollar General. Um, I like using this party streamer for gift baskets, using like the stuffing and the grass and stuff, you know, in the basket. I like using this. Um, what you could also use are your old VHS tapes. Just pull the tape out. Hardly anyone watches VHS tapes anymore. So you pull the tape out and you can unravel that and that'll be great basket stuffing. Oh, let me tell you, you got VHS tapes laying around, you don't need to go buy basket stuffing. Use your VHS film tape. Um, these come two in a pack. At Dollar General, they're 140 feet a piece, which means that is 280 feet. You get a better deal when you go to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, they come in one single fat roll and they're 300 feet. These are two smaller rolls, it's 280 feet altogether, Dollar General. And they're a dollar a piece at Dollar General, and they're a dollar a piece at Dollar Tree. But this is Dollar General, 280 feet in both rolls. Dollar Tree, you get a 300, um, 300 foot roll in one. So, obviously, I was at Dollar General. I didn't get the bigger roll because that's Dollar Tree, and Dollar Tree was on the other side of the town. I couldn't get there. My friend Andy came over. We hung out for a little bit, and I decided to take advantage and ask him to drop me off at the store, which is only a mile from my house. I take my scooter with me. I, I went for a walk, actually, after after my shopping trip, uh, and I went, I went um, to another local store, got some ice and some snacks. And I went for a walk. I did a, a little bit of exploring through the neighborhood and came back home. And it was it's really nice outside today. It's like 65 degrees, give or take. So it's really nice outside. The last thing I got were um, packing um, package labels. I thought these are gift tags. They are only a dollar. I get two sheets of gift, of gift tags. Two sheets, double-sided for a dollar. That was a really good deal. And this one's funny. Um, nice until proven naughty. And Holly Jolly, there's nice ish. Open some happy. And handle with excitement. And this is a this is a good present. This is a good present. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> and then you're going to love this. And I like this one. You shake it, you break it. And better than socks, and this one I'm probably gonna I'm probably just gonna put on my sister's gift bag. Just act like you like it, okay? Just act like you like it. And then this one was traditional. They had like five or six different kinds of tags. These ones were more traditional. Very very pretty. I do still have a few packages to melt out to some of my lovely subscribers. One of which will be a Christmas giveaway that I'll be drawing a winner for here on Saturday. And I'll be using these two mail packages to some of you lovely subscribers. <clears throat> so, just to reminder, I will leave the link to that video in my description box below. That'll be at the very top of the screen after I say hello, welcome to the channel, blah, blah, blah. Right after that, I will have a link to my last video that I sh I showed you a blue ombre colored hat. It's got like beachy colors in it, but from a distance it looks like it could be like blizzard colors. Very beautiful turquoises and creams and navy blue. Let me just go show it to you. 
This is the hat I made for the giveaway. I just, I haven't finished sewing it up yet. I have to sew the top closed. But this is the hat I made for the giveaway. If you have not left a comment in that video yet, then go ahead and do so. But there will be a crochet hook, some snowballs of yarn. I call them snowballs because they're little donuts of white ecru yarn. They literally look like snowballs. So there'll be a few of those in there with some uh, with a crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a darning needle, and a little Christmas something something, and maybe another little something something. I'm gonna let that be a surprise to you, the recipient. Um, so anyways, um, if you haven't left your comment um, as your entry into the giveaway, then make sure you do so before Saturday, or at least by Saturday. I'm going to say 1 p.m. Central Standard Time on Saturday because right before that, let's just say noon. Let's just say noon Central Time this coming Saturday, December 25th, which is Christmas Day. I'm going to be uploading a short video right before I head over to my grandparents for the day. We're not going to do our gathering at noon like we do every year, like we always have done. Um, they decided to do it at 5 o'clock this evening. Um, on Christmas Day, so I will have some plenty of time to catch up with everything, finish wrapping pres presents if need be, which I'm going to try to do that tonight or tomorrow, and then we just lounge and have dinner and hang out for the rest of the night. So that's all I got from Dollar Tree. I got a couple things I was working on. I made a couple of head wraps. One of my subscribers and I have been talking. Hello, M. And her idea was for me to try to make a, a headband, and I made a couple of them. So this is just plain purple. It's like it's a purple heathered yarn. I think it's gorgeous. I'm not sure where my small little light is. I think it's over there by the window. Let me go grab my light real quick. Hang on. Hi, baby girl. You want to say hi to Aunt Bernie? She's just meowing away, wanting attention. Here's Raven. Here's Raven. My 15 year old furry fluffy turd, pretty much. <laughs> All right, off you go. Okay, so I bought my little light so I, I can show you guys this yarn a little better. Okay. And one of my long hairs. So this is a beautiful um, acrylic yarn. It's a DK weight. I hope you guys can see that better. It's a heathered yarn. So anyways, I got this from Lovecrafts, I believe. It's, this is pr Price Wise Double Knitting by King Cole. It's the color shade is just called Heather, but to me, I call it an eggplant Heather. It's very close to the eggplant color on Premier Basics, but it has like a heathered look. And you can tell that there's a little tiny bit of red mixed in with the eggplant purple. It's a 100 gram skein, 320 yards, 290 meters. It is 100% acrylic. It calls for either a four millimeter, um, or a US 5 knitting needle and it gives you a gauge swatch which is nice but this is a DK weight and it's I had no splitting issues this is a beautiful yarn to work with I got like a pack of like five or six of these in my haul when I did left crafts a while back and I also got this exact same yarn in the color menthol and then I thought about doing a few stripes of each of those colors with a um, stripe of white in between. I think that would look gorgeous for a baby blanket. And and I made this one. I made one for her. Where did I put it? Oh, I made one for her. I'm going to go show you the one I made for her. I made her one and I'm going to send it to her or, or I'm going to fly out and take it to her. I'm not sure which yet or both. I might mail her one and then and then bring her another one. Okay, so what I was explaining to um, my yarny friend is um, the width of this 
that that's a set width. I can't do anything about that because I made this on my king size Addy knitting loom. And there's 46 stitches all the way around on the loom, right? And this is pretty much the width of the loom. I got 46 stitches from this edge to this edge. And then 85 rows from this end all the way around to this end. And I just sewed these together. You do the horseshoe thing. I sewed them together and then flipped it right side out. And then there's my knot. So that way I only have two ends. I only have two ends to sew up. If I were to crochet a panel, I could make that as narrow or as wide as I want. I could just do a panel, but I would make it twice as long. I would fold that in half, so I would still have a long strip that can go around my head, but the fabric is doubled over, which is what I wanted to keep my ears warm. But if I were to make a panel, I would have to sew along this stitch to clean it up and along this stitch to clean it up. So that's more work. I like my headbands wide anyways. So... That's why I decided to just leave the width as it is and just knit in the round until I have 85 rows, take it off the loom, and then sew the knot. And then, done. This took me like 20 minutes to make. 20 minutes for each one. Oh, and the yarn I used for this one, it's very similar to Red Heart Unforgettable, but I bought it from Ice Yarn's website. And it's called Lana Bella. This is a DK weight roving style acrylic yarn. This has 30% wool in it and 70% acrylic. Red Heart Unforgettable, exact same colorway. This one's Tilbury. Ice Yarns does not color name them, but the Red Heart Unforgettable is 100% acrylic. I have some right up here on my shelf, um, but this one has 30% wool, so I use this one instead of Red Heart because it has the wool, which will keep my ears warmer. And I love it very much. Very, very soft. This is actually has a lot of yardage in it. It's um, 100 grams, 250 meters. So that's 270, maybe 273 yards, 272, I don't know, something like that. Something, something. But I have enough to make two more of these. And um, next year, I don't know when next year, Not, I'm not going to give you all a date until I know more for sure. But, um, sorry guys, hang on, hang on, I got some water running. Okay. When I have a date closer to that date for my Etsy shop, I will let you guys know as soon as I have that set up. But these will be in my Etsy shop sometime next year when I actually set it up. It's not set up yet. So please don't ask. I don't have a link to it yet. But, um, that will be up sometime next year. I'm hoping before my birthday, which is in April. Um, I did have some yarny questions um, to answer and some regular questions about me. This is kind of, let's just do the next video. Okay, guys, this is 18 minutes. I don't want to make this any longer than you guys want to stick around and watch. So my very next video, um, I'm doing, um, I'm going to answer some questions that one of my yarny friends asked me. And we'll have some fun with that next time in the next video. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Merry Christmas. Um, don't forget to give me a like so others can see this and get some cool ideas for the knitting loom and, and other cool ideas. I have like random tips and tricks throughout a lot of my videos. They just randomly pop up as I think of them too. So anyways, thank you guys for being here. Merry Christmas. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.